Hi, this is Greg Benz with a quick overview of how to read a histogram. And uh, if you're new to digital photography, you're probably like I was and you're saying, Histo, what? Um, well, a histogram is just simply a representation of the brightness values in an image. So I have a shot here of one of the slot canyons in Arizona. And the histogram in Photoshop here is just telling me how many pure black pixels do I have and how many pure white, which is the answer is none, and how many of everything in between. So it's basically telling me I've got a lot of stuff that's relatively darker here because this is going from pure black all the way to pure white and kind of everything in between. So there's a lot of stuff stacked up here. But uh, I think it's helpful to maybe um, kind of push things a little bit and see what the components would look like. So if we actually... Um, colored over this image here and started putting little rectangles here. So these are kind of 0, 10, 20. Every pixel here is the same brightness value, 30, 40. What you're seeing are these spikes in the histogram. And that's just telling me that I have a lot of pixels that are 10, 20, 30, 40. I can add 50 through 100. You can see that you get the whole range here across this spectrum. And if we were to add a gradient, now you get a little bit of everything all the way through the image. So that's just simply telling you that these different little pixel values um, correspond to something on this graph. Um, so that's great, but um, what do we do with that information? So when I look at this histogram here, I see a couple of things. One, there's absolutely nothing that's very bright or even close to white. Um, there's some stuff that's just pure black, and there's a lot of stuff that's pretty dark here. Um, so overall, uh, it's a darker image. So um, that's one thing we'd probably want to address. The other is um, we see this kind of like bulge or little spike here, and that's because there's a lot of pixels that are relatively at similar brightness values, um, which is another way of saying it's low contrast. The more that the pixels are spread out in your histogram, the more that you have a full range of contrast. So this is a pretty tight histogram, and as we look at this image, it's you know, both dark and pretty low contrast. So that's kind of what the histogram is telling us. And if that's what this is supposed to look like, then we're done. So there's no um, right histogram, there's no perfect histogram, um, but it is telling us those things. And as I look at the image, I don't think that, you know, really represents how amazing uh, the canyon looked to me and I want to do something about it. So uh, we'll go in, add a, a brightness and contrast adjustment here. So first we'll just make it a little bit brighter and I'm going to turn the layer on so we can see it. Uh, and you can see there, I'm going to hit this um, exclamation, basically just re-renders things. Photoshop always shows you a preview, and when you click the exclamation, it gives you a little bit smoother, nicer histogram. So we can see kind of before and after that everything kind of shifted to the right here, um, which is what you see when things get brighter. Um, but we still have things kind of bunched up a little bit here. So I want to go and add some contrast to the image and we'll bump it up and try that. So you can see th things got a lot uh, more broad um, and compared to the original went from spiking to the left to much more kind of broad and to the right. And to my eyes, as I look at the before and the after, that's just a, a much more appealing image that has a lot more pop. So that's a quick example of what you can do with histograms. Uh, I'll dive into levels and curves and some other tools you can use to uh, adjust the image. And as we do, you'll see that histograms kind of come up in a lot of different places. And when you understand what they're telling you, it can be a really powerful way to, uh, to take your photography to the next level.